hey friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is brielle and this is the budget rn if you're not subscribed or new don't forget to subscribe so you can be a friend too today we're going to be doing a back to bank video and a mini cash condensing so if you're interested in seeing this video then keep on watching So we're going to go ahead and get right into this video because I want to get this over with. <laughs> I want to get it over with and I'm going to tell you guys why. All right. So you're to be completely um, transparent and honest with you guys. Um, I was going to share this in my last video, but I actually cut out um, the portion of the video where I talked about this. I just be I'd be slipping up and I'd be making mistakes. I, I know I'm human, but I'd be really wilding sometimes and that's just that's just my honest opinion. <laughs> I went ahead and I put out all my expenses. This is pretty much anything that I have pulled, for, I paid for with my credit card that now I have to pay myself back. And that's, when I when I do these videos and when I do my back to bank at the end of the month, um, my priority is to pay myself back. Um, I know that I have been cash stuffing this money and if I don't spend it, great, I save it and I move it on to the next month. But I usually spend it and um, that's what happened so I was gonna share with you guys in the last video that normally I do a like a, a I fill out my planner and I in my planner I have a calendar a monthly layout of all of my bills that are going to occur for that current month did I do it in June I did not I don't know I, I think I think to be honest with you guys I was feeling myself I said okay it's my magic month I'm gonna have three paychecks so I don't have to worry about bills like I'm gonna be able to take care of it like I know when my bills are going to be paid I can guesstimate when things are due and I don't have to write it out because I have three paychecks instead of two so at the end of the month uh, whatever's left I'll just you know I'll just let it get drawn out of my account you know like it doesn't matter um, I'll have enough and then I'll just cash stuff whatever I have left and that's what I did but this was my magic month and I could have benefited from it so much more and that's where I messed up I did not plan out my month I usually have a calendar I lay out my paydays and then I highlight each paycheck a different color every bill that's gonna be taken care of with that paycheck I highlight it the same color so I know which paychecks taking care of what bills I did not do that also what I do on that calendar is I put a check mark or like an asterisk or something when something is done with that payment so if I scheduled the payment if I know that it's on auto pay already if I um, paid it already that same day or whatever I, 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 I do something to that payment so that I mark that something is done I didn't do that obviously and I have been discovering that I have terrible short-term memory like I really do so what I did which I've done with once before um, when I started doing this cash stuffing is I I paid for my loan twice um, what I what must have happened is I scheduled the payment at the beginning of the month because I know that I had to pay it like I do my bills I just go in and I schedule because I need it to be paid this month so I just schedule a date pop I submit it and it's gone it's scheduled so what happened was I forgot about that and then when I got paid this last time I went in again and scheduled a payment because I just was like I knew mentally in the beginning of the month that this paycheck was gonna take care of that loan I made the payment I scheduled it ahead of time but then when I got paid the last time I just went ahead mentally remembering that I wanted this paycheck to take care of that loan and I scheduled the payment again so what did I see when I looked at my account this morning was that my money's gone and if anyone is paying on student loans you know that it is not you know a small monthly payment it's it's a few hundred dollars so to pay that twice I'm sad <laughs> I was really upset but that was just that just really confirmed to me that that was because I had very poor planning I mean yeah I'm out of that money I, I could call up you know call them up and say I didn't mean to make a double payment this month I absolutely could submit that claim and whatever because I've done it before but now that I'm just like is it really worth it that all that extra money is gonna go towards the principal of my loan yes I could get that money back for to reimburse my account short term but 
I'm still paying on this loan. It's not going to go anywhere. So I just decided to swallow that pill and move on. I've learned my lesson and I will never make that mistake again. I will always, always schedule out all my bills and my paychecks and on a calendar so I can visually see it because I know that that's the type of person that I am. If I don't do it, it's chaos. I basically guesstimated all the amounts that I stuffed this month. So I don't have enough in in any category to pay myself back so i'm gonna have to pull from somewhere and so i'm going to have to pull from my vacation envelope um and then you know if i need to reimburse anything from vacation i will do that later on but i'm just gonna have to and um yeah i sat down with myself i was like look i have more than enough vacay clothes from um, a vacation i just took to um for my best friend's birthday in august and so I am just going to take all the clothes that I did not wear, all the outfits I did not wear on that vacation and wear on this one. And I'm just going to have to take the money from my vacation envelope to make up for the money that I spent this month. So am I happy about it? No, but I'm happy that I have an option rather than going into my saving challenges and things like that because I need to pay myself back. You know, let's just see how much we need at the end of all of this. And hopefully we can figure it out. So we have $1,262 is what I need to pay back to my card. So I'm just going to write that down here in total. Um, and just so you know, right here, I crossed out. It says 256. I crossed out. Um, and now the balance is 208. That's because I took some things back to Amazon. I sent things back to Amazon and I got a refund for $47.96. So that's what that little scribbling says. So first for the back to bank, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my bills. So this is my bill binder. And I'm going to go ahead and just pull out my bills. Um, it should be $800. That's the usual amount I take back to the bank for my bills um, and it's just for rent utilities and phone um, every my Amazon stays in there so I'm going to count this out make sure it's a hundred I just want to take that out first um, so I don't forget for one um, and I'm gonna stick this back here this is gonna be where most of my cash condensing bill money comes from because I have bigger bills here before I take them back to the bank. And what did I say I need to be? I think it's supposed to be 800. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, um, 50, 650, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 800. So yes, my total amount is here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just sit this back here for now. I just have to remember that I have other things other than 100 back there. Um, actually, I'll set this to the side because I don't want it to, when I tally everything up, I want to make sure I have enough. First thing I have is some things I brought from Amazon for home. I really think it was like plant related things like vases. Um, if you know anything about plants, I am growing some of my plants in LECA. I had to get like plant fertilizer and things like that from Amazon. So I have that under home and 23 and 33 is $56. I only have 40. So 16 bucks I still need. So right away I go right into my extra spending envelope and I pull out 16 and I only have 15 so whatever all right I'm just gonna move this over all right, let's put this here while we're working on this stuff can you guys see okay so these are taking care of groceries, which is not supposed to be here, but um, I guess I overspent on groceries or I went and ran out and got extra things. Maybe I wanted to have a certain night. I can't remember because 
like I said, my short-term memory is trash. But um, probably I wanted to have like a specific night. Um, I know one time I did, really was craving like seafood and I randomly went out. I think that was around Father's Day. I randomly went out and got some, you know, some things to have like a seafood boil. So 56 plus 43. And that was not on my grocery list for the month. So that's a hundred bucks already. Oh my gosh. So that's gonna have to go out of spending because I don't have, and there, that's my extra dollar that I owed from the last one. So groceries is taken care of. Um, next is self care. So I got some things for my skin, I know. Um, this is for, I went for, I actually didn't go for my wax, but I'm on a plan, so they pulled their money. Um, but that just reminds me, I have to schedule that. And I don't, I forget what that was, but I think this is all, it's all something related to self care, so. 160 and I don't think I have that at all 20 40 60 80 I have 80 bucks so I need 80 more right so I'm gonna pull all this so I'm to pay my sister to do my hair so let's see $80 more 20 40 60 20 40 60 80 Hmm. Where do I put this? Pull this from? Perfumes. I don't have $80 in here. Um, hmm. Alright, let's just pull it out of spending. Yes, let's just do it. Oh, I'm so mad. All right, so self-care is done. I have here Target. It's coming out of Fan Band, which is my family time envelope. I know we didn't spend family time at um, Target, but maybe it's something, had something to do with spending family time. Um, and she needed like floaty and everything. You know the little floats, the little vest that you put on. So I think that's what it is. So that was 51. So I'm just gonna pull 50 for now. Anything else coming out of family time? Hmm. Down here I have home slash family time or fam bam family this is actually not this is for things i got for my house for my daughter i got some like sensory things around the house and um toys and things so it's that's why it's family time and for home so i know i don't have anything left in my home envelope and i just have 50 65 left hmm what do I have in gifts? This is gonna be really raw. $30. What you girl gonna do with $30? And then I already have something coming out of gifts here. It's $33. I don't have enough, y'all. I really don't. All right, whatever this gift is, it's for $33. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this $30 for gifts. And that's done. Um, hmm, 65. 208 minus 65, because I know I don't have it at home, 143. I just did all my spending. I have some more self-care down here too. Mm -mm -mm. So what's gonna, we already started with my vacation envelope. It is what it is, 
but that's really, I won't really pull from anywhere else. So I know that this is just extra money. I don't really need this for anything right now. This is just, just in case money. Um, and then I get paid the week of my vacation, luckily. So I'll just have to decide if most of that paycheck, I wanted to just put it towards vacation spending or vacation money. I mean, my vacation is all inclusive. My vacation is all inclusive. I don't really have to spend money on that vacation, but you know, you might want to add on an excursion there or something, you know. If I wanted to do something or treat my boyfriend and I to something while we were there, I want to have money, obviously. I need to have money. So I'm just gonna have to worry about that when I get paid again. So what we need, 143. So I'm just gonna take 145 right out of vacation and then this is all the rest of the money from family time makes sense I hope so um, that's everything from that clothing so it looks like I need 240 plus 60 plus 190. So 490 bucks on clothes this month. What was I thinking? And a lot of these things, I'm I'm gonna be honest, I'm upset about because um, I did some shopping. Some of this stuff is for vacation. I got like um, some shorts and I think I got two bathing suits. Um, it was really for like a pool party too, but I, I could take these things on vacation. I got like a cover up and, um, but a lot of these things were jeans I got from Zara. Um, you know, Zara's expensive, but I like their jeans. Um, I got a jean jacket cause I, I needed a new jean jacket. So a lot of the stuff was random shopping too that I can't take on vacation, but some of the stuff I can, I can. So, uh, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220. So 220, this leaves 270. Clothing. And these are not just all my clothing. Like Amazon, I did get some summer clothes for my daughter too because she needed some more shorts. Um, shirts, I love getting stuff from there in Target. And um, she got a few pair of sandals. So I got a few bathing suits, dresses, a sun hat, all kinds of things for her too. So that's for the entire month for everything that I've went clothes shopping for. 270, I'm pulling $270 from vacation. I'm gonna have nothing in here. Um, I miss, yeah, let's just pull the whole thing. So that covers all of this. Um, $30 I spent car and gas. Whenever I take like an extra trip or something like that throughout the month, sometimes I have to pull from here for gas. It's 30 bucks. So I have down here, I went to show. Spent 30 on gas at some point. Um, and then I have this self-care out from the nail salon. There's nothing in self-care. Let's just do date night. Do I have anything in date night? Oh no. It wasn't really even date night. It was like family. We went to Shake Shack and Pliables and I got it because it was my idea probably. 74, 240, 60, 80. Lovely. Um, we have to pay ourselves back. I'm not happy about it. I really am not. You're gonna start to hear the disappointment in my voice is happening. $8 at Target. I think I covered that because I just stuffed a little, I just pulled a little extra there. 
So all I owe is this random $53. Did I calculate it in this? I don't think I did. So 53, let's see how much I have and then maybe I'll decide to either pay myself back or oh, look at all these envelopes, they're empty. I'm so sad, I'm so sad guys. They're all empty. All right, this is gonna be a really mini cash condensing because I'm not gonna have much cash to condense. No money left. So, so far we have 100, 200, 300, 50, 400, 55, 50, 6, 57, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 25, 35, 45. So we have 1,245 and we need 1262. So 1262 minus 1245, 17 dollars. Mm. 17 bucks. I don't know. I want to pay it all back. Where am I going to pull 17 dollars from, guys? I pulled all my money. Uh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad I had pulled all that vacation money because I felt so responsible having that much money aside for just in case while on vacation. Um, of course I have like emergency, like I have some, like a buffer in my account and things like that in case. Well, not really much of a buffer anymore because I double paid on my loans, so frustrating. Um, but where am I pulling $17 from? I'm not pulling from here. $17. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. All right, you guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't remember what it was for, but self care is what's outstanding. So I'm going to pull it for my birthday. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm gonna pull twenty dollars for my birthday. <sighs> oh, it is what it is. My birthday's not till November. I'm being very dramatic about that, but yeah. All right. We have more than enough to go back to the bank and pay ourselves back. So this is all done. And we paid ourselves back. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to pay myself back. It feels really good. So I have the money pulled here. This is gonna go back to the bank, pay back my card for all of my irresponsible spending this month. Let's go ahead and do a condensing. So, so we have 100, 200, 300, 54, 55, 56, 5700. 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65. So we have $1,265. Um, I think and plus 800. So 1,265 plus 800 will be 2,065. So I just, so I know. Should I count that to be sure? Let's just count it, because I just want to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 100. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. $2,065. I think that's what I said before too. Let's see what we can condense. My bill binder is empty. All right, car and gas. It's one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 60. That can't be condensed any further. 
credit cards. One, two, three, four. So we can add another 100 here. 50, 70, 90, 100. Another hundred. Then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Another hundred. Alright, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, so 734. Why I wrote 739 here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, I wasn't supposed to put this down here. I picked up a 10, but I put a 5. Wait, what? I put a five in five singles, right? For a 10. I'm so confused what I do. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Did. Oh, I, I think I was supposed to pick up a five. That's what I was supposed to do. I'll watch this over, but I think that's what I was supposed to do. 35, 36, 37, 39, yeah. That's what I was supposed to do, but I never picked up the five. Okay. Oh, alrighty, I'm already getting confused, so let me be careful. All right, my phone's gonna die, so let's hurry up. Emergency, 20, 40, 60, 85. 95, 100. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred even. Family time is empty. Future me. Can we condense her? It's getting thick. Um. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 81. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. think that I have one, two, three, four. Oh, I have to pull my snowball. We have a thousand in snowball, right? All right, I'll pull that in a second. No more vacation. New home has one, two, 50, 20, 40, 65, 75, 50, 70, 90, 100. 50, 70, 90. Hundred for one, two, three, twenty-five. I forgot I can pull my snowball and we can have more hundreds, but at least that's nice and condensed. That's satisfying though. I love having my big bills. Oh, all right, so short term. Go ahead and pull a thousand from Snowball. So that will be three thousand and sixty-five. We're taking back to the bank. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, a thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars. 
So let's just pull this 10, five. So that's all I have left. And this thousand is going to go add it in with this money. So now we have more. So 3,065 is what we're taking back to the bank. All right, guys, I think so. Um, all right. Birthday. One, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I just pulled $20 for my birthday. <laughs> eh, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay, right, guys? I'm gonna be okay. Christmas. 20, 40, 60, 80, one. Uh, why am I taking this one to the bank? 20, 40, 60. Let's do 50. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. 374, no, 474. 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4. 474 in Christmas. I think that's all condensed. Clothing is empty. These are all empty. Empty perfumes has not much. 10, 20, 30, 40. And then last is tech. I haven't really added to this lately. Oh, 10, 20, oh, 10, 20, 120, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So 160, 20, 40, 60, 80. Why is this going 80? I'm at 40. So 160. Oh. All right, so short term is all condensed. I am gonna hop right into my A5 really quick. I have it on the side just to condense my daughter's envelope. I never pulled from it, so I didn't have to bring out my A5 for anything. And I don't condense my challenges, so I'm just gonna see what I can condense in her envelope. One, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Another hundred and fifteen. So she is one thousand, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred and fifteen. All right. Guys, I think that's everything. I'm gonna quickly, because I'm not going to condense my saving challenges. Quickly count the money. I should have 3065, but I'm gonna use my calculator to make sure we do this fast. So we have 100, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000, and 100. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-four. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-five. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 
20, 40, 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. <sighs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh my goodness, these. Bills are so flimsy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. 3065 that is how much we are taking back to the bank that is including my bills for this month eight hundred dollars taking back two thousand no one thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars for my expenses and then a thousand for a snowball i think i broke that down right i probably didn't but Yes, I already knew that I had 2065 that I was going I started with. I added my snowball. So now we have 3065 that we're taking back to the bank. All of this to pay back my card, to snowball my next card, and to pay my bills this month. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Down below, let me know what you thought about this back to bank video and cash condensing. And I will see you all next week for my first cash stuffing for the month of July. Happy budgeting and happy cash stuffing. See you next week. Bye.